Quiet on set. Pictures up. Camera. Camera set. Roll sound. Speeding. Roll camera. Rolling. Then mark it. C1 alpha take one. Action. Wow, those were a lot of terms that just shot out right there. What just happened? What? What? My name is Emil Torrey. I'm a filmmaker, content creator here in Los Angeles. I am a director. I am a screenwriter. These are the terms that you're going to hear on set. These are the terms that you should be familiar with when you step on set. If you are a seasoned actor, you've heard these terms many times. This video is probably not for you. If you are a brand new actor and you want to familiarize yourself with what you're going to hear on set, this is what you're going to hear more most often. Now, if you watch this video, by the time you are done with this video, you'll be able to stand on any set and know exactly what's going on, know exactly what they're calling out, and know where to stand and who to listen to. So let's get right into it. In regard to the positions on set, I'm going to make another video about the different positions, whether it's a director, producer, first AD, second AD, first AC, second AC, grip, key boy, script supervisor, editor, yada, yada, yada. I will make another video for that. But these are about the terms. So let's start with the slate or often referred to as sticks. Now, right here, we use this to white balance and to color correct the camera. If the lighting is off and oftentimes you will see someone do this and they have different slates. So this one is an analog one. There's a different one that you'll see oftentimes that have numbers that are spinning. That's a time code. That's usually, the company is called Dianese or Dianese, I forgot how to pronounce it. But it is a time code that is connected to the camera. So when they do that, they know exactly when things are starting and it's easier to edit in post. But same concept, this is a slate. Now what you're gonna see is you're gonna see the production, you're gonna see the roll number, usually roll one, roll two, depending on what they are filming. You're gonna see the scene number, so you'll see scene one, alpha, scene three, Charlie, four, Echo, whatever the case may be, and then what take are they doing? So is this take one, take two? We've gone up to take 25 on this. Then you're gonna see the director right here, and then you're gonna see the camera. Usually camera right here is the DP, the director of photography, the cinematographer is gonna go right there, the date, day or night shot, and then is it synced with audio or is it MOS? So this is what you're gonna see. It's very important to know that they're gonna put this in front of the camera like this so that they can basically mark it. Marking it means take one, scene one, whatever the case may be, and then when you are close to an actor, you are going to hear something called soft sticks because you don't wanna blow out their eardrums. So they'll get close and they'll do soft sticks if it's very close like this and you'll hear very gently soft sticks, the audio can pick it up, you're not deafening the actor and then we can move forward. So that is the slate. This is the most important thing that you're gonna see before anything starts because this helps editors and post-productions and everyone on set know exactly what we're filming, when we're filming it, what we're doing, and it helps get organized. Let's move on to the very first term. There are a lot of people on a movie set. It is a collaboration, it is a family. For instance, I made a sizzle reel about a feature film that I wrote, and on that sizzle reel, and the sizzle reel is basically a preview of what that film's gonna be about and you show it to producers and executive producers, yada, yada. Now a sizzle reel, on that sizzle reel, I believe we had, I wanna say eight crew members for a one to two minute sizzle reel. Eight crew members and I wanna say four or five actors on, so there were a lot of people on set crammed in a little Airbnb in Pasadena. That's just a sizzle reel. When you get onto a full production, like a major motion picture, you may have upwards of two or 300 people working on that film at all times, from transportation to catering, so many people. Now, the first thing that you're gonna hear is quiet on set. Quiet on set is pretty self-explanatory. That means that all background, talent, all actors, everyone on set should be quiet because now we are about to start filming. When they say quiet on set, that also includes turn off all cell phones or put it on mute or silent, whatever the case may be. The worst thing that could happen is two actors are in the midst of a scene that the director's probably gonna print and then that's, that pisses me off. That pisses everyone off on set, especially talent. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor, turn off your cell phone. If you don't need your cell phone on set, do not bring it to set. 
quite on set means quite on set. Next thing you're gonna hear is going for picture or pictures up, which means that we are, the camera's turned on, we are about to start shooting, pictures up, get on your mark, and if you are on your mark and they shoot and then they cut, they will say back to one. Back to one means go back to your mark. Whatever mark you started with, back to one means go back to your first position. Doesn't mean walk around the set or do anything else. Back to one, back to your mark. Quiet on set, pictures up. Next thing you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear the AD say camera, and then someone's gonna say camera set, which means that now we have the camera placed exactly where we want it. The camera is set, the framing set, and we are ready to start shooting. So when you hear camera set, know that you are within probably a minute or less of shooting. What's the next thing you're gonna hear? You're gonna hear roll sound, and then someone's gonna shout speeding. Now the reason we shout speeding is back in the day when we didn't have modern technology, we didn't have DJI and all this other equipment, you would have to have a sound engineer get the sound machine to actually wind up to a certain speed before it actually started recording sound. So when they say speeding, it's an old term referring to having to get the machine up to the proper speed so we could record proper sound. And that would take a few seconds. So we would have to wait and then the sound engineer would say, okay, we're speeding, we're at the right speed, and then they would move on. Nowadays, we don't have to do that because we have instant audio, but we still use that term. So roll sound, speeding means that we are actively recording audio. We have audio recording, we have speeding, you know what that is. The next thing you're gonna hear is camera, and then someone's gonna shout camera rolling, usually either the camera operator or someone else close to the camera. Once that happens, now we have video actively recording, we have audio actively recording, and now we are ready to market. The next thing you're going to see or hear is you're gonna see someone hold up the slate, usually with all the information regarding this take. And then you're gonna hear someone market. Market means go ahead and scene one, take one, alpha, whatever the case may be, and then when they mark it, you're gonna hear all this information delivered. So you're gonna hear roll, which is usually the film, but we don't use film, it's digital. So more often you're gonna hear scene and take. So let's say it's a major motion picture. You might hear scene 25 alpha, take one Bravo. So if they say that, it's scene 25, take one, right? But take one Bravo, so you'll have take one, which is maybe a head on shot, and then take one Bravo might be a side shot, and then Let's say it's scene 25, take one Charlie. It might be another shot or overhead shot. So we always denote what we're shooting, when we're shooting it, so that in post, we know exactly how to cut it and how to edit it. And then you're gonna hear the famous At that point, the director's about to yell action. And finally, as the great director that I am that nobody knows about yet, I will sit there in Video Village and action. And action means action. Beyond that, you are now rolling, you are now making a film. The person who's gonna yell cut is usually the director, it's always the director. Little side note, it really annoys a director if you have someone else on set. Other than the director, yell cut, it's my vision. It's our vision, the director. So if you have a producer or a writer or an actor, for instance, this is a big problem. Actors like to direct themselves, They're like, oh cut, can we do that scene again? No, if you wanna direct yourself, go make a YouTube video. If you are on set and you are an actor, do not direct yourself. You will piss off the director 100%. That just annoys me to no end. So, as an actor, don't do that. That is a big no-no. You keep on acting until the director yells cut. And then beyond that, you're gonna hear everyone back to one, which means go back to your mark. So with that, you know exactly what's going on on a set. You know exactly what to listen for. And when you're on set, make sure that you listen to any of the ADs, any of the PA, listen to the crew, make sure that you know who is who. The most important people that you want to really pay attention to are gonna be the first AD, second AD, any of the PAs, if the grips or any of the gaffers ask you to maybe move to the side or do whatever the case may be, they're doing something really important. If you don't know what these positions are, don't worry about it because I'm gonna make another video with all the positions on film and after watching this video and then you watch the next video, you'll know exactly who is doing what so that you know exactly who to listen to, who to help out if need be. I hope you learned something. If you found any value in this video, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my other videos about film and content creating, and blogging 
and living a creative life. Consider getting headshots with Dana Patrick. Please consider getting into this business. It's an absolutely phenomenal business. It is a calling though. If you want to be an actor, it absolutely has to be a calling if you chase it for any other reason other than the fact that it's just the acting bug, you're gonna burn out because it's not easy, but it's absolutely worth it. Please spread love, spread kindness, support women in every aspect of every industry because they make the world better. And I hope you have a wonderful Monday.